it's wet, and she doesn't particularly like that. Her fur gets wet, and it sticks to everything. This is Savante, the Bondi Noir. And she has just come to Skyrim. And she wants to get the heck off these dogs into the nearest town. You get out of the way. What's she digging around in there for? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Hi there. Yeah, she could probably find somewhere to stay on the docks. She doesn't want to stick around there because that gold she has, she lucked out and nicked it out of somebody's pocket right on the docks. Right after she got dropped off. Can't believe her good luck. That's a lot of gold. He must have been rich. Boy, is he going to be pissed when he finds out his money's gone. for a moment where it's relatively dry except for the rain that blows in. Yeah. Make sure this stuff is correct. Correct, why is it not working? Uh, that's a great question. Well, currently, yet another thing in Skyrim is not working. Surprise! Welcome to Skyrim, everybody. Welcome to a series we're calling. What are we calling this? Oh, Savante Noir. Thief of Skyrim. If you come to solitude to join the Legion. I come to get dry. I'm not joining any Legion, Nord. Oh, like someone's about to get beheaded. Oh, this is a wonderful town. I gotta be careful here. Uh, in? Yes. This will do. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Take a load off and enjoy the atmosphere. Yes, uh, thank you so much. Let me just, uh, have a... A table by blade the... or by spell. If you want it dead, it's back. Maybe right I'll over here. All you need to do. Eat treasure hunters. Well, maybe I like food. treasure. So, this is Savante. She has just recently come to Skyrim, like just this day. You picked her up when she was first uh, on the docks for not more than a few minutes. How did she come to be here? She wanted to be here as a young adult Khajiit 
she wanted to leave elsewhere and come to the ripe opportunity that is Skyrim. She didn't have the money to do so. She was a poor Khajiit, so um, she hooked up with a pirate ship offshore. I think I expected more. She agreed uh, on, on the terms, their terms, which were she would work for them for a year for free, and then they would drop her off in Skyrim at the end of her term. And her year is up, and they were good enough to drop her off. And they were quite happy with her service, quite sorry to see her go. As you can see by the armor and the dagger she was able to take with her, spoils of war, as it were. Uh, it was a pretty successful pirate crew, at least towards the end of her year, so that was good. So, um, as far as what she's got, she's got a Dragon Priest dagger, which is a, a fairly nice dagger because of its enchantment. If she knows nothing about enchanting, but um, hopefully she can learn enough that she can find a filled soul gem and be able to keep this uh, up, up to date, up, up to enchantment, as it were. And she is rocking a conglomeration of two different sets, the uh, C5 Kev's Lacey stuff and uh, Alana's stuff. So that's what it is. She's got Alana's pants and Alana's umber skirt. She got C5 Kev's Lacey Ranger top, Lacey Ranger bracers, Lacey Ranger boots, Lacey Ranger pauldrons, and Lacey Ranger scarf. She's got her arm already about 99, so that's not too bad. And um, she just got the stuff she just picked up on the docks, and that's it. And then the gold that she stole. And that's what she aims to do. She comes from a background where most of her family were thieves. Um, unfortunately, by the time she was, uh, you know, a teen, as it were, um, her parents were already deceased and she was on her own. Um, and she had a hard time making it. And she uh, she decided she wanted to come to Skyrim because she heard there was opportunity here. Now, what opportunity to what? Opportunity to become a thief. That's what she wants to do. That's what she looks forward to doing. And she wants to become a successful one. Now, she knows about the Thieves' Guild, and she certainly will not have an issue with allying herself with the Thieves' Guild. In fact, the time she spent on the boat, she questioned the rest of the ship, sorry. She questioned the rest of the pirate crew as best she could, and either with any knowledge of Skyrim, she soaked it in. So she knows where she is, and she knows that she wants to go to Riften. She was expecting to have to come into Solitude here and do some odd jobs and things in order to make money. Uh, she wasn't thinking she was going to be leaving the, uh... I'm going to be leaving the ship with any money, but, um, yeah. Be that as it may, here we are. But yes, this is what her, uh, her set of armor and whatnot looks like. Kind of sort of matches. I mean, the umber on the skirt kind of goes with the, uh, the 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 piping or the threading on the gloves and the boots, which are a little bit more of a brown color. She's got black pants for the dark and, uh, and the, uh, the, the the lacy green top with the yellow scarf and the uh, yellow and brown pauldrons. Got kind of the gold handle and stuff and laid on the da dragon's priest dagger, which I wish. This would work properly. It's, uh, it's coming up very weird. Ah, there we go. Don't need that. You need this here. All slots disable. Yes. Then up here, import, export, export this, Ugh. overwrite. Yes. Now we should be good. There we go. Now we can toggle things on and off. Now, she needs, she's been on a ship for a year. She doesn't have, she didn't have a lot of sneaky skills or thievery skills to begin with, but she certainly lost them by being on a ship. There's not much you can do on a rolling ship on the rolling seas, um, boarding other vessels and fighting uh, deck to deck and taking plunder. There's not really much you can do about sneaking in these situations. So she's going to have a lot to learn. It is 1238 here. 
in the afternoon. There's a, right, can I read your book? What is this? The Restless. I've heard stories of lost shipwrecks strewn across the Sea of Ghosts. At the Waking Skeever in Solitude, I found a lead on a ship said to have traveled to Blackbone Island. Apparently the last person to visit the island died in Castle Dower Dungeon. That's interesting. Having spent a, a year as a pirate, that's interesting to her. But, um... For now? For now, I think we're going to go and just, uh, actually work. What we should do is go buy ourselves a bow and arrow. Bow and arrows. We're going to brave the stormy weather. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Don't know much about alchemy either, but we're hoping to learn some of these things. Armageddon? Who said Armageddon? So we'll see what we can do. Um, I do definitely have a plan for this character. In all the land. Not an entire, entire run plan, but a pretty good long plan. Archery book. Nice, nice, nice. Hello there, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello there, sir. Hello and welcome, my friend. How may I help you on this fine day? I'm just pleased that you racist bastards let me in the city. I have a Khajiit, you know? What have you got for sale? Bows and arrows for the mighty huntsman. Sure, I'm a hunter. That's what I am, yes. We'll go with that. We'll grab a Steve. Ooh. We'll grab a. Ooh. We're going to grab a dwarven hunting knife. We like shiny things. Have that. We're going to grab ourselves an Imperial Bow. Grab us about 10 of these to start with. And as many of these as we can. And... Yeah. And you won't buy anything off. Perhaps I'll be seeing more of you. Okay. Definitely going to do this. Do this so we don't lose this stuff. Accidentally sell it. We'll keep that from happening. Um, we do know one spell. It's a healing spell. Uh, we might pick up a couple of restoration spells. Maybe we'll see. We might pick up a couple of illusion spells to help us out. I don't know, but... Um, Spellcasting is definitely not going to be the forte of a Savante Noir. So, uh, stick to what we know. You doing any cooking? Can. Yeah. Right. Now, we spent all our money, which was, uh, so we are going to have to do a few odd jobs. Uh, I heard tell somebody mentioned that there's a job board, and I think I saw a glimpse of it right over here. Yep. Deliver a letter and deliver a weapon. Oh, you have a letter or a weapon? 
You wouldn't have a few minutes to run down to the docks, would you? I'm here for the delivery job you posted. Of course. Good luck out there. Seems like a tough time to be wandering Skyrim. Hmm? Sure is. Uh, no, I want the other one. And the weapon is probably up here with the uh, blacksmith, I would think. Yeah, I'm fresh off the boat. I'm not a. Oh, never mind. Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? I'm here for the delivery job you posted. Of course. Return any All right, we've got uh, a couple of deliveries to make. Let's, uh, let's run off and do it. What can I say? She's a bit of a playful kitty. One of these is delivered just outside of town, and the other one is at the next village over. Come on, Skyrim. Load in, please. Butterfly! Difficult wearing a flowing skirt with a tail. I mean, the thing, the thing we Khajiit have to put up with, right? The things we have to put up. Boy. down by the mill. Not this place. Place down here. Oh, it's looking positively swampy over there. I can smell it rolling in. Uh. I'm aboard a ship up on the open sea. To the cell, cell, smell of the salt off the uh, ocean. Huh? A letter from you from Yvette San of Solitude. Apparently she hates you so much she didn't even want to walk over here and give it to you herself. She says, never speak to her again, you disgusting prick. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Until next time. Uh-huh, you're a disgusting prick. <laughs> And he agreed. Do some fishing, but yeah. Not the fishing show. I mean, we won't ever do any, it's just, you know. Got a fishing rod, okay. Got our woodcutter's axe, and favored that as well. Guess uh, that's the one we're delivering to Dragon Bridge. Okay. Bye. Disgusting prick. I ain't stealing anything. Stop staring at me. Oh, 
probably did, but you didn't see it. The only thing's flickering, it's because I have no LOD at all. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. I mean, this probably does have LOD, but I, I've got... This This mod list is great, but it... Like any friggin' mod list of Skyrim right now, there's always... There's always one issue. Every every time I jump in the game, there's an issue with something different. It's just Todd Howard trying to make you all pay for mods. That's what it is. I'm pretty sure that's it. Well, here you go. There's a little bit better view of her in the in the sunshine. I like this outfit. I mean, it it doesn't look bad. Powerful dagger, but I careful because I don't want to use up the enchantment on just anything. You know what I mean? It's... That did say Dragon Bridge this way, right? Sure did. up when I can. We'll learn about it all later. Oh, I'm hammering down there. We're close to the village. Soldiers coming down. Here there's a civil war going on, so let's try to avoid soldiers and fighting as much as possible. I'm hoping to run my own inn someday. Why do people tell me these things? Do I look like a large investor in people who want to run inns? Excuse me? Go with her. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around And I'm going to take a somewhere. brief break right here. I got something to do real quick. I'll be right back to dive back into this. All right. Sorry about that. I'm back now. Need to have dropped some things up here. They're here. I was trying to pick it up and give it back to you, but one of the locals of Frequency Inn reported missing. 
I'll tell the innkeeper report to the guard, but El Deepi says he saw the person in question leap off Dragon Bridge. Sad state of affairs, but not our concern. Hi there. Are you fought? Are you Theta? Huh? I have a weapon for you from uh, Baron of Solitude. Thank you. Here, this is for you. I like your gloves. Uh, I'm looking for work. Do you have any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Any rumors lately? This is activity around Helgen. Sorry, there's a little bit of buzzing in my ears. I can't hear right now. I'm just reading your lips. Legion patrols spotted in the area. That's uh, unusual, you say, eh? Any other rumors? Been talk of a little boy in Windhelm. Name of Aventus Aretino. Get this. He's been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> Foolish lad. Yes, so. Any other rumors? Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Bounty work around here I can help with? Of course. It's all in this note. You know, there's a lady wandering around outside who says she wants to buy this in. Rent it herself. Do you know about that? Uh, any other rumors? People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? Nope. You know where I can find some work? Of course. It's all in this note. I'm going to spend all my time reading notes. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. Do you have anything for me? You know, some kind of work? Of course. It's all in this note. Something different about you. I can tell. Hope you ain't here to cause trouble. Well, keep hoping. Oh, oh! you're the one who wants to take over the inn. Hey, the one who wants to take over your inn is right over here. You should, like, smack her around and tell her to fuck off. That's what I... You no? Know? That's, what we, that's what, we, what we do in Elsewhere. But we like to smack each other around. It's, it's fun. I mean, sometimes it hurts because of our claws, but that's why we have thick fur. And sometimes it's, it's just playful. It's like a little foreplay. Data, have you ever heard of foreplay? Yeah, I'll be going now. All right. Got a little bit more gold now. I wonder where we got that gold from. And, uh, let's read this. Deep Balls Burrow Beasts. Pros 2, the leader of some nasty forces. Well, Lost Knife Hideout Bandits. And a missing merchant at Trader's Post. Huh.
Like a little path back here. Do y'all know about this? Probably did, eh? It's your town. Probably did, eh? Yeah, yeah, I'm Canadian. Alrighty. I guess with that... Time to, uh... Time to head on back. Head on back to Solitude, where we can... Catch ourselves. Right, a cup. Hey, come on now. Savante will sneak around, but damn straight, she's not walking. Any further than she has to. There's a card available. She's got money. Okay. Makes things a little heavy and uh, a little warm, but it's got some uh, good protection. So, always good to be protected from danger. Because danger is Savante's middle name. Actually, it's really not. She doesn't have one. In fact, although she was born with the name Savante, uh, Noir. Is a, is a name she actually uh, picked up on the uh, the pirate vessel. That's uh, they started calling her that, and then she kind of took it as a last name. So then they just started calling her Savante Noir. Okay, so she thinks it might have been a sign of respect. I'm not sure. My carriage is the safest way to travel. I would like to hire your carriage. Please. We have to talk slowly to these cart drivers. They are morons. Where do you want to go? I would like to go in your cart to the hold known as the Rift. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? I and you and the horse and the cart with you in the seat guiding the horse and me in the cart behind you shall travel forthwith right away to Riften and for this trip I will pay you six gold climb and back and we'll be off that was 60 that's too much yeah all right tried to negotiate it did I not work have to stop and get myself a pint of black briar mead while no I'm stopping Riften. no stopping itself also, no talking. Also, the carts don't actually move. Uh, spoiler alert. The carts in, in, in Skyrim don't actually move. They never actually move. <laughs> Think about it. Because they don't. It's just another loading screen. Thank you, Starfield. Right, here we are. Okay. So everybody. Everybody, rock your body. Back streets back. All right. Okay. Good. Um we're we're just going to uh set up ourselves a little a little screenshot of Rooney. I don't know who Rooney is, but he's not in the shot. Yeah, good. That's, that's good. I like this. We'll just do this. We'll do that. And I want to thank you for joining me on the first episode of this grand adventure of Savante Noir, Thief of Skyrim. She has a lot to learn to be in a successful thief here, but she's got some plans on how to go about this. So join me for episode two, which will be coming up sometime after episode one, which was this one. I can't be more specific. I could. But I, I might be wrong. So thank you all. 
Check out the links down below to my other channels and my Discord. Love to have you join up. And um, I also probably have a link down there to my Twitch, which I might get back around to playing at some point. I'm not really a big Twitch guy, but occasionally. And uh, look out for live streams as well. You never know when a live stream is going to pop up, but I, I do try to when I actually do one. Um, I don't have any schedules or anything, but when I do a live stream, I will try to uh, give uh, give my Discord members a heads up at least that I will be doing one on such such a day. And then when that day comes and goes and I didn't do it, I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't do it. <laughs> but sometimes I do. Sometimes I do it. Sometimes it's just like Khajiit foreplay. Just kind of cuff them around with your claws. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Savante Noir. This is uh, Savante Noir, and this is her story here in Skyrim. I'm on back for it. My name is Dread, and this is Miss Valley Mods. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you for your views and your time. Night-night.